story of my life. Today, we are talking personal finance and household budgets during the government shutdown, and we are budgeting our way through this crisis. And in truth, this information and how we're handling it applies to everyone because you may not be affected by the government shutdown, but you might have a crisis in your future and how we're dealing with it may help you down the road. My husband, Mauricio, and I both work for the federal government, me as a direct hire and my husband as a contractor. And right now our budget has been cut smack in half and I am not getting paid and Mauricio is getting paid for the moment. We do know that we will get this money back, but that doesn't help us pay our bills today and put food on the table today. So we had to reach out to a lot of the companies that we pay on a monthly basis, and I am gonna tell you exactly what they said and how how we're gonna make it. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. On this channel, we talk personal finance all the time. We talk about the ups and the downs, and I hope to motivate you to get out of debt and stay out of debt and live your best possible life. In my video last week, you saw that I was gonna make some phone calls, and I made those phone calls, and Mauricio made phone calls. There were a lot of phone calls going out. And so now I wanna tell you what everybody said. First things first, from what I understand, my vision insurance and my dental insurance, now that we are two paychecks behind, is no longer being covered. So I am planning on having to pay the premium on the vision and the dental. And we need that dental insurance right now because Melissa is just had a huge dentist appointment where we discovered that she was probably going to have to get some things fixed and it's going to be costly. So we will be writing those into the budget, although I'm not really sure how to go about paying those just yet. I'm assuming I'll get some sort of bill, but as of right now, I don't know. So I know also I have been on the fence about Melina swimming and Spanish. So I went ahead and advised both of them of our situation and same with the storage unit. I let them know, hey, we are government workers impacted by this. For now, we are gonna continue making these payments, but please understand that there is a possibility if this goes really long, we're gonna have to cancel or we're gonna have to ask that you let us pay when it's all over. But just to let you know, we are in that situation right now. And all of them were super understanding and kind with no issues whatsoever. So Mauricio's school loan, which is $185 a month, they said they would put us in forbearance. And Mauricio, but we couldn't do that until we were already behind on our payment. So we have decided we will probably continue paying that as long as Mauricio is getting paid. We really don't want to go into forbearance for anything so we will probably continue paying that. That was with Nelnet is who holds his school loan. We called USAA about our loan, which is eleven eighty six sixty a month. And they are just adding months on to the end. They said for every month that the government is shut down, they will take a month off the front and put it on the back. And us knowing that we're going to be paying it off sooner rather than later, we're just super excited that they were this flexible. With our car and renter's insurance and life insurance, it was a little bit of a different situation because, you know, obviously we pay to keep those policies in place. And basically what they have told us is they're going to work with us. We'll pay what we can pay. You know, if it's just $10 just to keep the policy active. And then when it's all over, we will catch up with how much we need to pay them. But for now, we are paid up to date. So we couldn't really negotiate those. So I put those on the calendar to call on the date that the payment was due. Then Melina's before and after care, I called them and they were super kind. They told us just not to even worry about it. And that once we started getting paid, we could pay them back. Fairfax County is pretty awesome about that. There's a huge number of government employees and a lot of the people, the first question they asked me was, do you still need the services? So that tells me there are a lot of people that are furloughed who are sitting at home and they actually are working with people as well who are sitting at home. 
Unfortunately, I am not one of those people and I have to go to work every day. And before and after care is $608 a month. Audible. Audible is $15 a month. It's $14.95. I'm rounding up. And I was able to put our account on hold so they won't charge us for the next three months. If this goes longer than three months, then I'll have to cancel my Audible. But I actually have a credit sitting there waiting to be used and I didn't want to lose it. And if I canceled my account, I would lose that credit. Our car loan. CarMax actually told us not to worry about it. We just need to call the day of. They said, you know, we have been paying up to date and everything and they would be happy to work with us. So we just need to call. They said they do have plans in place for for people in our particular situation. Our Navy Federal credit card, this is the the debt that we are actually currently working to pay down as quickly as possible. And I, probably because we've made several large payments recently, they're like, nope, don't even worry about it, you're good. And so they are gonna let us go without a payment. They made notes and that's it. And even Verizon is working with us. So when we called, they said they absolutely had a plan in place for government workers, but that we couldn't actually really discuss it until we needed to make a payment and couldn't. So we're supposed to call when our payment is due at the very end of this month. So we'll do that on the 31st. Apple Music, Circle, and Netflix Mauricio is going to suspend those. I don't think he's actually done it. I need to remember to nag him about that. But his, it, since the accounts are all under his name, he has to handle them. And so he's supposed to put those on hold. So here is what I am discovering. That if you have a good payment history and you are current on your bills and a crisis like this happens, call. Because the worst they can possibly say is no. You know, I feel like it's worth the effort. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out. <laughs>